sense. And in the Philippines? Same. Car park. Oh, car park as yeah. well. But like in the signage, it's more called the parking lot. Oh, parking lot. Yeah. But simple ones. <laughs> but what do you call it? Isn't that a socket? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Plug the thing Power that goes in. Oh, yeah. It's a it. socket. It didn't plug mm. the thing that goes into the socket. Yes. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Yes, your girl is back with another interesting video I know you are going to love to watch. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting on this video, Singapore, Philippines versus India, English vocabulary differences. This video is going to be an interesting one, so watch it to the end. If I proceed with this video, if you're watching me for the first time, you love my reaction videos, you want to see more coming from the Philippines, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't get to miss out. This time I bring videos like this to your doorstep. So without wasting much of your time, let's dive into this video. Watch it together and react on it as usual, okay? I'm so excited to learn more. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So this is the first photo. In Singapore, what do you call it? Car park. Car park. Literally, park, park for cars, yeah. right? <laughs> that makes sense. And in the Philippines? Same. Car park. Oh, car park as yeah. well. But like in the signage, it's more called the parking lot. Oh, parking, parking lot. Park, yeah. But we oh. say car park. <laughs> oh, you say car park as well. Is it written parking lot? Yeah. Like yeah. Parking lot. Mm -hmm. So you use both. In India? Again, both of those are used, but I think the most common one in writing too is just parking. <laughs> Ah, uh, parking. Just, yeah. just parking. But what about yes. the place? You don't say I'm going to parking, do you? <laughs> like pump? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to what pump. I'm going to, to park. Yeah. Like this. Parking lot is more common. Oh, parking, parking lot. lot. Parking lot. Parking lot. Oh. Are you also familiar with car park as well? Though? Yes. For me, I would I would refer to that more of like a yeah. car park. Whereas mm -hmm. if it's in the basement, it'd be like a parking lot. Like how did your Indian parents say that? Can you remember? <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Did they use car park or parking lot? Mm, not car park for sure. Let's go park parking. Parking. No. <laughs> parking. That actually makes sense. Like that's correct grammar. Let's go parking. Park yeah. is a verb too, right? Yeah, but it's, it's not like my car is in parking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no, that's not that. That's, yeah. that's wrong. That's wrong. So the parking lot. Parking, parking lot. lot. Okay. That's interesting. Park. I believe car park is British style and parking lot is American style, American style. I would say. But I think basically all around the world, it's just P, isn't it? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. P. And the next one is this one. <gasps> yeah. like... So in Singapore, what do you call it? In Singapore, we call it the food court. Food court. Food court. Mm -hmm. Oh, hawker center. Hawker center. Hawker center. center. How did yeah, you forget that, it? Yeah, that's in Singapore. <laughs> Even I remember that. Oh, really? <laughs> food court is somewhere with aircon. Hawker center is without aircon. <laughs> is it just about aircon? Yes, it's about aircon. <laughs> It's all about the egg processing part, really? guys. A lot of famous food usually come from Hawker Center because mm. a lot of them are like people who has like owned these shops from back way back mm. in the past. That's why. Interesting. Mm. And in the Philippines, it's the same food court. Food court. Yeah. But have you heard of Hawker? No. Center. Yeah. What would hawker mean? People who sell people street who... on food, uh, who sell food on the streets, they're called hawkers. hawkers. Ah, they are so hawkers. So that's why it's a hawker, hawker center. center. Ooh. Yes. A long time ago, even in India, we have these places where people have carts mm. which they move from place to place. Mm. Ah, uh. So that's again why, because they move in and then have to move mm. up back out. So and they are called hawker. Called, yes, they're mm. called hawker. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Yes. In the Philippines, don't you also have like food court without an air con? We do. But you don't call it hawker center. But still food court. Yeah, still food court. Mm. Food court yeah. without an air conditioner. Yeah, or a local market. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just a market, street, yeah. street food. Yeah, okay. And in India? India also, it's a food court actually. Food but court. food courts are mostly the ones within inside malls mm -hmm. where there are a lot of places you can eat from. Yeah. Places like these is just like a food that sells Street food, like you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Street food. Let's go eat street food. Yeah. is more common than calling it some place. Um. Plus, in India, a lot of these places don't have places to sit, mm. so you actually stand uh, and eat. Yeah, food. I can imagine. Yeah. So you know, it's a very, very thin street. Mm. So you know, on both sides you have shops, but people are just standing and eating. Mm. Yes. All right, and the next one. In Singapore, what do you call it? Pants. Pants. 
Pants, interesting. Are you confused? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you you yeah. know what's pants, right? Turn. Yes. Yeah, but in, in the Philippines? Same pants. Pants as well. Ooh. And in pants. India, you, you look confused. No, I'm not confused. <laughs> They're pants. Pants. Or, or trousers. Oh, oh trousers. yeah, trousers. 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 Are you also familiar with trousers? Yes, we know trousers, but too long. Trousers. <laughs> too many pants. 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 So at like clothing stores, is it also written in like pants or maybe trousers? Because think, that sounds more sophisticated. Yeah, I think, I think in stores maybe they put trousers to make it look nice. But let's say you want to go like someone tells me like, oh, I think I need to get some pants. Mm. It's like, oh, I need to go shopping for some trousers. Mm. Something like that. Oh, okay. Are you not familiar with trousers? We are familiar, but we just mm. don't use them. Like you said, it's too long. Mm. So pants. 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 Yeah, that's simple. Next one. In Singapore, what do you call it? I think we call it the power plug. Power plug. Power plug. That makes sense. So, yeah, you plug to get the power. Power, yeah. power, power plug. plug. Then in the Philippines? We usually use um, electric plug. Electric plug. Because it's too long. Mm. You just plug. Just plug. plug. Yeah, 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 just plug it. Just plug it in. But would that be like an official name? Electric no. plug. Electric, electric plug. Yeah. And seems like you only say plug, but. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Because you love simple ones, but <laughs> what do you call it? Isn't that a socket? A oh, you yeah, yeah. plug the thing Power that goes socket. in. Oh, yeah, it's a right. socket, it's mm. plug the thing that goes into the socket. Mm. Yes. Socket is not very commonly used, but on all the products, it will be, you know, Perfect. it's an electrical socket. Mm, like or manuals or something mm. like yes. that. Are you also familiar with socket? Yes, of course we know, mm. but it's very seldom mm. used. Mm. Usually power plug. Yes, power plug. Yeah. And what about On socket? second thought, yeah, we call it socket. Oh, socket as well? Because <laughs> like my mom always say, plug it. So, yeah, you know, yeah, I get yeah. confused yeah. as well. So. Mm. Plug it into Sorry. the socket. I think another word would be outlet as well. Ah, oh, right, right. Outlet. I've heard of it, but only when I came here. Like ah. they call it outlet, but... Yeah, not really. No, we wouldn't Singapore. really say outlet. No, we don't say outlet at all. What about in the Philippines? Yeah, outlet. we also use outlet, but socket is more common. Mm -hmm. common socket use. is more common. Outlet's not really used common. almost not at all in yeah. the spoken version of it. Yeah. Mm. But yes, mostly spoken is socket. And the next one is this one. We have been texting and I even saw that word. Oh really? Yeah, let's find out. In Singapore, what lift. Lift, lift people to different yeah, floors. Yeah. Like it's like lift up, lift yes, down, yes, right? Yes. Then in the Philippines, elevator. Elevator, but you get elevator yes. as well, right? It's mm -hmm. more sophisticated. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Okay. Elevator. Yeah. Like go take the lift. Usually, like the longer, the more sophisticated. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we stay simple. <laughs> okay. Then in India. Again, colloquially lift, but it's written obviously as an elevator. Oh. Mm. You also call it lift, usually. Uh, lift, yes. Are you not familiar with lift? We are familiar mm. with lift, but it's the opposite in the Philippines. If you say lift, it's more so sophisticated. Oh, yeah. okay. So I'm waiting at a lift like that. <laughs> yeah, really? yeah. yeah, they won't understand. Uh, Excuse me? <laughs> what? Oh, where are you from? Yeah, where are you from? <laughs> where are you from? <laughs> I think in Korea, it's always elevator. Yes, yes yeah. correct. And next one. What do you call it? Um, eraser. Eraser. Mm, eraser. Right there, like. Mm, eraser. You erase it, right? Yes, eraser. Mm. And in the same Philippines? Eraser. Eraser. Oh, that's the same. Now the thing is, we, we call it two ways. Obviously, eraser is one of them. Another one is just rubber. Rubber. A rubber. I mean, it's, I know it's just made of rubber. Yeah. <laughs> because of yeah. that, it's very common to say rubber. Can you, can you give me your rubber? Mm. <laughs> Don't you say rubber at all? Can you mm. understand? Yes, definitely yeah. we understand, but no, we don't really use it. Anything. Rubber. I believe like rubber is more like British style I'm and guessing. eraser is more like American, American style. style. Rubber is so common in India that we even call it rubber in Hindi. Oh, <laughs> yes, we really? really? took it from, from English ah. and call it rubber. You know, it's very oh, similar really? to rubber in Hindi. Even though you have another Hindi word for that object. Mm. But are you familiar with rubber? I am, but mm. Filipinos will not be familiar. You say, um, can I borrow a rubber? Mm. They will think of rubber band or mm. the rubbing alcohol. Yeah, rubbing but, alcohol? <laughs> yeah. Even that? Yeah. Wow. But not eraser. Oh. What do you guys call when you erase that thing that comes out? Uh -huh. What do you call it? Oh god, I've never thought of that. <laughs> yes, I've never thought of that. There's something here, there's something yeah. in Singapore. Eraser poo? 
That's the Korean way. That's the Korean way to be honest. What do you say? Raise a poo. Really? Raise a poo. Yeah. What do you call it? Rubber dust. Ah, dust. What about eraser dust? Also, eraser dust is also thing. Raise a poo. Sorry, I was like so childish. Have you heard of like rubber dust? No. Not really. You didn't. You just don't call it anything. Yeah, exactly. So you what if there's something on the table and then they be like, oh, just dirt. clear this. A uh, dirt. <laughs> dirt. Just dirt. get it off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just get you it off. You don't call it anything. Just get it. Oh, just rubbish. <laughs> trash. 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 Yeah. Trash. 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 Trash.